in January 2018, Cartico introduced a liner for two. In fact, it was done at a spot more or less where I'm standing now. This is the CMT Trade Fair, and uh, this is the liner for two, which comes now in two versions. Uh, one is 783 centimeters long, which is the original, and the uh, second one is the uh, L version, 53L, which is eight and a half meters in length. Uh, first, uh, both sorry, are on a Fiat Ducato, I chose Fiat Ducato or Iveco Daily. Uh, in the case of the uh, 53L uh, Iveco Daily 65C or 50C for the smaller version, and this is the one I'm now going to have a uh, look at. It was um, uh, launched last year. I mean, I thought at the time, okay, it's rather similar to some other things which have been done in the past, um, but uh, it has certain technological advances, uh, which uh, I think makes it a very um, desirable vehicle. Okay, let's uh, get inside. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> this is the uh, storeroom. The cellar, the um, double floor, look how much space you've got in there. And that's pretty good in my opinion. And the store, it's got storage in the double floor th throughout the vehicle. Coming down here, this shows the position before you put the bed. The bed is up there, comes down over the chairs and to make a bedroom in here once you're parked up and uh, when you want to go you you press the thing up here and it goes up electrically yeah I've, I've got film actually showing it working what it's like when it's up and what it, when it's like when it's down now uh, this was actually invented this whole idea uh, you see for example the uh, the death lifts alpa huma uh, Heimer, I should say, dual mobile and uh, other vehicles which have, have used this approach. I have an interview on my site with the inventors, Lota and Heidi, um, and uh, unfortunately the, the interview is in German. But uh, I mean, Lothar said you must be really proud that your idea is now being produced by so many companies. And he, he himself also thinks, I mean, that's so logical though that uh, every m vehicle manufacturer will be doing a vehicle of this type before long. And indeed, I'd have to say that it's not just those I've just mentioned, but also Concorde have something similar as does uh, Frankia. So it has been copied somewhat. Right, here we have the uh, dressing area, the toilet, the bathroom, there's me. Attractive layout. Coming through here. You've got clearly uh, divided into three areas. Many vans say this, but in this case it's utterly and absolutely clear what's going on. I think this is incredibly clever use of space. Here we've got this uh, lounge. Uh, this comes out electrically, this bit down here, so it can be longer or shorter depending on your requirements. Also, we've got this very large panoramic roof up here, uh, allows, uh, or skylight, I should say, uh, to get lights will pour in. <clears throat> and the television makes its appearance down here. There you go. Comes up and down electronically. Storage all the way around. Oops.
and you've got a big fridge as well with a uh, electric oven sorry a gas oven uh, above it to Nate and keep an eye on the time the uh, and the uh, atmospheric pressure So let's go and have a look at the other one now. I think I see there's still some people in there. So we might get a proper look at it. But the first thing you notice here, tag axle at the back. Uh, both are um, large garages. Both take 450. This one here's got this, this thing for bikes, which goes in like that. It also appears in other Cartago models. 450 kilos, although a friend of mine reckoned that uh, it, it, it can't take 450. Uh, so that, um, that's 450 spread out completely. I believe. I mean, I'm just, I'm just repeating. Okay, let's, uh, no, I saw there were people in here, which is always the problem when you do filming of this nature. So, uh, there you go. The below is the same. Let's see if uh, let's see if I can stick if I can get in without bothering anybody. Okay, front exactly the same. And the, the rear, also the same, so Right, so where's the extra, so you didn't see it because I'm trying not to film people. And this, this is it's really just the problem with filming it, it, it events. But is it the back there you've got more uh, space? So I'd like to ask you, which one do you prefer? But as you haven't seen this one properly, for the reasons I've just given, uh, unfortunately, that's, that's about it, really. So, now you can see why I put music up uh, instead, so I can get in before other people are in here. And I, but the thing is, I've got background music often, which is copyright, so I've got to put something over the top of it. And in this case, there's people in the vehicles who may be buyers. I can't ask them to get out, especially for me. I'll tell you what we'll do though. We'll have a quick walk around the Cartago stand. Uh, there's Shiki line, 40 years, and uh, we'll have a walk around, see some of this other stuff as well. This one here, for example, E line L61 XL LE. This one here takes a bit of driving. It's uh, this was the one. Oh, my gimbal's off. It's going somewhere. Where's it going? It's back. It's back on again. No, I'm not going to get in there. <laughs> Something in here as well. You can look at the, the vehicles from the outside. And here's some of the, uh, the cheaper models. Chic C line. Now my favourite one here is the lightweight. It's the cheapest one they do. In fact, that's uh, relatively easy to drive. Yeah, this queen bed, or you can have the separate beds. Uh, lightweight. It really is lightweight. It's like driving a car. A light, a small car. It's like the car you pick up at the airport when you go somewhere. That's the uh, that's the one. It is. It's um, uh, really very good. Oh, and if you. you if you're lucky, you can get a voucher to get some coffee. But I think you have to take it off a test drive to get it. And, uh, I was thinking of going down to uh, Owlen uh, Dorf, where the Cartago is actually made, but uh, it looks as though I'm not going to go there now. And so I think I'll just finish off actually with uh, with my favourite sword, super lightweight. Let's have a let's go in this, and you can see this is eighty three thousand. It's not much shorter than the 
There you go, it just wants to film something else again. Okay, well that was meant to be a look at the two liners for two and ended, be a, ended up being a walk around the Cartago stand with commentary. Oh, there's another double floor in here as well, which I, I, I really, I find, you can see you can put an entire crate uh, of drink in there. I'll show it to you. Look at that. And this is a small van as well. Three and a half ton. You can drive this with a car license. Okay, so you found that of interest, despite the fact that we didn't get to see the uh, uh, big liner for two from the inside, then uh, you might want to see more. I'll try and get the liner for two from the inside sometime in the future. And for the moment, uh, this is me in Stuttgart on the last day of the CMT trade fair uh, for 2019. Signing out, I will of course be back here in 2020. Well, that sounds like a long way away.